Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video. It's been a while. Been going through some life changes, some life, life, life happened. Uh, so technology kind of took a backseat for a little bit, but I do want to get back to covering um, some stuff. You know, MWC just happened, so there's Moto G news. I might make a separate separate video on that, on my thoughts of it. But real quick, I'm gonna do a Moto Z4 seven months later video. Can't believe it's already been seven months. That's crazy. Time flew by. And I still use this phone. This is like my main phone. I love this phone. Definitely like my favorite Motorola phone right behind the Moto X Pure Edition. So of course, you know, you lose that um, that beautiful feel in the hand. You lose that here. But this still feels pretty good. You know, we got big bezels, but still pretty easy to use. And of course, you can just do that, which does come in pretty handy, you know. Um, but I do, it does feel nice. I use it a lot without the case, but my, the case I use most would be like the bumper case for it, which as you can see is starting to get a little dirty. Kind of wish I got the, the. I like the way the clear one looks, but the black one is pretty dope too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have really no issues with this phone. It's um, oh, real quick, I'll just let me tell you guys. Uh, that's, um, this is my current setup right now. Pretty simple. I'm not really doing anything too fancy. Nova Launcher, of course, as always. I'll do a separate video on Nova Launcher and why I love it so much. Um, performance has been pretty, pretty smooth, considering most of the time I'm using it with um, the Scipio mod, you know, the charging mod. Uh, with this, I can go all day with it. I still have, I usually still have battery at the end of the day. Uh, I don't play games like I used to. Uh, but I usually do a lot of navigation, you know, you, I do use the phone for Lyft and Uber at times. And, uh, I mean, I do drive around a lot, <laughs> exploring places. Um, but this keeps me going. Um, I'll take off the back real quick, give you guys, like, a little bit of a durability after six months. You guys already know I'm not a big fan of cases, so a lot of times I like to take my cases off. Um, but usually I do use this one with the bumper case a lot. But when I don't, you know, I have dropped it sometimes. In terms of durability, I'd say it does a really, really good job. Let's see if I can get this to focus so you guys can see. That's the one thing about this camera here. I can have a hard time focusing, but got some scratches here. I have dropped it multiple times on like concrete. Yes, concrete. A lot of times on concrete, as you can see here. So the body does hold up very well against concrete. And these are pretty good drops, too. Uh, dropped it on rocks a couple times as well. Uh, here's the back. The back is usually protected. So you can see it's still a big fingerprint, man. It was like less than two seconds. <laughs> but um, uh, the camera lens is, is pretty easy to get scratched. And mine is cracked. I did drop it on it and it cracked, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, with the cracking, you can't really do much, but you can, I think you can get like a, a film to put over it if you wanna protect it from scratches, because it, it does scratch easily. And the pin right here, even though I did kind of mess it up here, um, I had no issues with the mods. They still fit pretty snugly, as you can see. And I still don't have any issues. So I think Motorola overall did a very good job with durability. Let's look at the screen. If you can see, there's not, you can't notice it too much. There are a lot of like little scratches, but they're not too bad. The main one here was I dropped it on the face of a rock. So any other phone wouldn't have survived that. So, and it did it very well. It's not a deep groove or anything. And it was a big drop, like straight on top of a rock. Like, I was a little scared, like, damn, I don't even want to look at it. But it survived it with, I think, minimal damage, I think. Uh, so there was a lot of videos like when you this phone came out people were dropping it and after a, a bunch of drops They got the phone to stop working. So it's not shock proof. So you don't want to like just drop this phone for no reason But for regular drops accidental drops, you should be fine. I haven't had any issues uh, Phone is still running and I'm telling you as you can see <laughs> I've dropped it a lot of times It still charges really really fast fingerprint sensor is still on point I do like what they are doing with the um, Moto G5 and, you know, allowing you to use the fingerprint sensor for, like, everything. That's pretty dope. Um, 
one thing with the camera launch. Let's see if it'll be fast this time. I'm okay. It's fast now. Sometimes this can lag. Um, but most of the time it still works very well. Modal features still work uh, pretty good. Um, of course, you know, we had to update to Nougat. And I'll probably do a separate video on the Nougat. But the Nougat update is running fine online. I'm not getting, like, extreme battery drains. I did get it for one day. But other than that, it's been, it's been awesome. Um, overall, man. Oh yeah, that's just like, this is my other channel that I've been doing videos on. I'm just gonna like, show you guys that speaker is still working and everything. Guys, so it's been a while, right? As you can see, it kind of wibbles, wiggles a little bit, but not much. I've been going through some stuff. Um, yeah. Life hits you sometimes. But as you can see, mods still work. Still no issues, and um, a lot of new mods that just, that just got announced, like the new um, like the, the new Motorola came out with their own power pack, which I think is dope. So it's going to be a little bit thinner than this one, which is awesome. Hopefully a little bit lighter as well. Because this one is great and all, but it is, it is a little thick and does make the phone a little heavy. And you combine this with this, and it does get a little hefty. You know, I get some money your phone, up like, damn, why is your phone so heavy? You know, but of course I got used to it. And because it's curved, it's, you know, still very easy to hold in the hand. So I don't mind it too much. But yeah, when I take it off, I'm like, damn. That is pretty light. So Motorola came out with their own. Uh, hopefully it's a little, little bit lighter as well. But it's definitely thinner. And I think that's pretty cool. But yeah. If you guys have any questions about the Motorola 4s, I really... You know, I gotta say, this phone is, is amazing. I really don't have any complaints. I'm gonna do the flashlight. Um, it's running very, very well. I've been using Android for a while now. I've used Samsung's, I've used LG's, I've used, I haven't used HTC, um, but I'm definitely done with LG. The G6 looks awesome, but I don't know, I don't know if they fixed their software yet. Their software in the G4 was terrible, horrendous in the G5. Software in the S7 Edge was horrendous, and I'm on Verizon, and I still hasn't gotten NuGate yet, so of course you got NuGate here, which, um, like I said, I'll do a different video on NuGate. But I said, let me show you the front of this phone too. As you can see, it, it's taken in quite a bit of damage, but it's still running very, very well. Still takes good pictures. Um, speaker still works fine. As you can see, fingerprint assist still works fine. In my opinion, this is still like the phone of the year. Um, still highly recommend it. And the mods are just getting better and better and better. Like they have that game controller mod. Uh, they got the adventure mod, so you'll be able to go underwater with it. <sighs> this got mods to like, with a breathalyzer, so you can actually test yourself to see if you're drunk. It'll call you a cab. I mean, the people are, are getting ideas like crazy. So I'm very, very excited. It's very sad that when this these the Moto Z line of devices came out, that you know all the reviewers were like, oh, they're so expensive. You know, they they were ready to write this phone out, but the Moto Z line of phones is the best thing that happened to smartphones since, you could say the iPhone, but I'll say it's the best thing since the original Moto X, which really, like, you know, got me to fall in love with smartphones. The original Android was amazing, you know, the ads and everything like that, but the Moto X changed the game and got people to think a little, little bit differently about phones. And, but in this right here, just changed the game again, because now you can, you have a phone they can literally fit almost anybody, pretty much. You know, they even have a modem mod to where you can print out your pictures right then and there. I mean, that's freaking amazing. So, like, the possibilities are endless. Now you don't have to be like Samsung and build 10,000 different phones to, you know, to please 10,000 different people. You know, you just have to, you build one phone, you have different mods for it, you know, and... The sky's the limit. So I'm very happy with this phone. This is definitely my number one phone. Like usually I get a lot of different phones, but ever since I had this phone, I've 
like why why do I need to get a different phone uh, sure the new ones are gonna be faster things like that but even the phones that come out this year are still not gonna stand up to this in my opinion and what it can do <laughs> they I even um, there was even an article that talked about Motorola or Lenovo I guess I'll say Lenovo uh, thinking like they can maybe do even a 5G mod so when 5G comes out you can have a mod that gives your phone 5G so if, you, if 5G of course it's gonna be way faster than 4G and you gotta have it and you don't have an upgrade but you have a Moto Z you can get the 5G mod I'm telling you man this <laughs> game changer right here um, I'm loving this song I don't think anybody can touch this like let's support Motorola like the Moto G line is still freaking awesome everything that they're doing is awesome I'm still a very big fan even though I haven't been making videos I have been you know keeping keeping an eye here and there you know I think Lenovo and Motorola together you know they're keeping they're making mobile interesting the ads are awesome they got some funny ads coming but let me know what you think like if you have the Moto Z Force how's your experience been with it if you have the Moto Z or the Moto Z Play how are you enjoying it I know my boy Rob Watkins he got his Moto Z Play he's got like pretty much all the mods well not all of them but he's got a whole bunch you know and I know I know he's enjoying his a lot <laughs> I know my boy Mike he's about to get one too oh, man I just it's like it's it's just so effortless with this phone especially now you can have different mods I don't I'm usually never on the charger because of this um, you know I, I meditate a lot now so I have an app and I just want to meditate I'll just you know plug this on so I can have my music loud because I'd rather not wear headphones you know it's just it's very convenient and I can't wait to get some of the new mods like the car dock and things like that but yeah let me know if you have the phone how you enjoying the experience or if you hate the experience what do you think they should change what do you think about um, Google I mean Motorola teaming up with Amazon Alexa like the Alexa mod coming I'm, I think that's pretty cool since Google doesn't seem to be doing much with Google now because Motorola used to do their own voice command you know with Moto voice but now it's done by Google but with Moto voice you're able to do things like you know ring your phone say what's up and then have your notifications read to you and things like that and I'm sure they would have kept adding more things but with Google now I feel like Google is just kind of limited so Alexa might bring more possibilities more things with that so I'm kind of looking forward to that as well and Google step up your game man Allo and all that stuff <laughs> but that's a whole nother video too I miss you guys man it's been a while so that's my video on the Moto Z Force if you are thinking about this phone, getting this phone, you're on Verizon, get it. If you can get it unlocked on T-Mobile or whatever, I say get it. Like, no complaints here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, of course, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Google+. I'll have the links in the description below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. More videos coming up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this phone, and I'll do my best to do a video on it. I'll see you guys on the next one.